Hey everyone, it's Destiny, and welcome to my channel, Destiny's Musings. The sun just came out. That's nice. Hopefully I'm not too bright. Ha 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 ha. That's a great intro for a video about depression. Okay, why am I here? I'm going to tell you about a treatment that I'm receiving just as of yesterday for treatment-resistant depression, which I have. You know, if you've tried a lot of medications, you've struggled with depression for a really long time, this can be a really great option for you. I was totally against it and terrified of it for the longest time. Why? I was just uneducated. It's called TMS, transcranial magnetic stimulation. It's a mouthful. It's actually a very safe treatment and it's effective in 70 to 80% of people, even 50% of people go into remission. I mean, that would be amazing. Part of the treatment is you have to believe in the treatment, of course, like anything, because the mind is very powerful. So I'm believing and I'm excited to share this journey with you. I'm so excited that they decided to let me film. What happened was after months and waiting and fighting with insurance, you have to fight and advocate. Finally, I get it approved. So they call and they're like, can you start today? And I said, yes, when? And they said, 20 minutes. And I said, ah, <laughs> okay. So I grabbed my camera, I mean, it's like terrible camera, terrible audio, but I really wanted to document that very first session. And then I subsequently this morning documented the second session, which again, I had no time to get anything ready and it was super early. And if you've got like a chronic illness or you know me, mornings are not my thing, but I went, you get to see both videos. I will tell you as we go along, I'm gonna do these videos daily. I will tell you, you know, what's involved with TMS and I would love your questions in the comments. If you have any questions about TMS that you're wondering about, I would love to be able to answer those. So please let me know. Please subscribe, you know, click that notification button so you get notified when I upload. And your subscription also tells YouTube, hey, this content's interesting and then YouTube pushes it out there. And my goal is to destigmatize mental health issues and chronic illness issues. So it would really help me if you subscribe to my channel because it'll help other people see, hey, I'm not alone. You know, somebody might be searching treatment resistant depression. What do I do? Or they want to know more about TMS and they'll come across this video if I have enough subscribers. So it would mean a lot if you subscribe. Uh, just a really quick overview, and I'll get more into it the more videos we have, but basically TMS works by, they place a coil, a targeted coil, they measure it and they find where. Um, it delivers magnetic impulses to the part of your brain where depression resides and helps to stimulate it and heal it. It sounds like science fiction, but it's real. <laughs> it's the same technology as MRI imaging, it's fascinating. You'll hear my doctor talk a little bit about it more too. But like I said, I'll explain more as we go along. For now, let's see the <laughs> kind of funny first video. Here we go. Hey everyone, it's Destiny Woo! in my car. I literally just got the call, as they say, that uh, this treatment that I've been trying to get insurance to cover is going to be covered. And they were like, can you come today for your first one? And then I said, when? And they are like, in 20 minutes. So I'm driving there right now. I haven't had a chance to set anything up. My audio is probably terrible because all you hear is the car, but I'm hoping to take you along with me in this journey. And I would love to be able to film each session to show you what this is all about. I don't know if they're gonna let me. They might, I don't know. Uh, the procedure is TMS, something I was totally against and terrified of. Why? Because I didn't know enough about it and I hadn't researched it. And after a lot of research and a lot of talking to several different doctors, uh, a geneticist, a rheumatologist, a pain specialist, a psychotherapist, a neuroscientist, it's actually not so scary. And it can be much better for you than medication. Um, I don't even have this camera set up properly. <laughs> Yeah, so medication gives me a lot of awful side effects and this is supposed to be a free lunch without side effects, one of my doctors said. So I'm really hopeful that it will work. It helps with depression and as you know, I'm trying really hard to destigmatize any kind of mental health or chronic illness issue and bringing, you know, just awareness around the whole thing. So what is TMS like? Um, I don't know, only what I've read about it. And that's why I wanna film and talk to you about it and bring you along the first appointment is supposed to be about 45 minutes where they measure your brain. I guess I'll find out if I have one. Ha <laughs> ha, dumb joke. And then the subsequent treatments are daily, weekdays. They're only about 20 minutes each and I live pretty close, so I don't have to drive too far, which is lucky. Um, I've fought with insurance for quite a while about trying to get this covered because insurance, you're terrible. 
You would never want to cover anything, ever. That's your job, I guess. Finally, after proving to them that I've tried, like, so many medications that just haven't worked. Um, and I've been in therapy. Like, you have to prove that you've been in therapy and that you've taken X number of medications. It's, like, amazing how sick they want to make you insurance. How sick, like, they want to make you first before they decide they'll cover something. It's like, you know, insurance, if you just covered mental health things without people having to fight for it, you would save money in the long run in medical costs. There's, there's books that have been written about that. Anyhow, I'm yammering because I didn't plan anything for this video. Uh, I just wanted to bring you along and I had two seconds to grab this camera and I'm almost there. So I'm going to see if I can take you in with me and hopefully they'll let me record, but kind of have a feeling they won't. So if they don't, I will see you after this. Okay, bye. Okay. This is so exciting. So I'm gonna like, I'm gonna feel something today, right? You're gonna make me twitch. <laughs> yeah, so basically, I know we talked about it um, at that appointment, but it's been a little while, so I'll review what's going on. So everybody, you know, brains kind of mapped out similarly for everyone. We know how to locate the spot on your brain that's responsible for the movement of your thumb. And then from there, it's the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, which is kind of like the left front side, sort of behind your forehead. Okay. That spot in your brain for most people is where the depression lives. And we use these magnets to stimulate that part of your brain to help, you know, essentially heal and grow brain cells and yeah. treat wow. the depression there. Okay. So when we find that spot where your thumb moves, we take some measurements and we know that's where the depression lives. Okay. So the whole thing it's so is crazy. It's not going to cause pain. Um, there's a little bit of potential tenderness to your scalp that could happen. Um, really, I don't expect even bad headaches. I first few I... days, sometimes people have headaches and you can take just over the counter pain. I wonder, because I get in my scalp, I get Botox injections for migraine. Mm -hmm. I wonder if maybe it won't even hurt. I don't think it would matter. Okay. Yeah. But maybe that'll mean it won't hurt. The only thing that I could see potentially is you may have less like facial twitching because sometimes the, oh, so, okay. you know, on the way to the brain, you're running into the nerves on the scalp. Okay. And that stuff can fire it sometimes and just cause a little bit of okay. twitching, but you okay. have more of a relaxed. Good. Yeah. All right. So he's going to start taking. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't let them do my actual forehead because, you know, when I play violin, I express so much on my face. So I don't like being able to. And I, so do you, do you not work today? I do, actually. Um, but it, it's, a, I don't teach until later. I was, I'm playing at the VA, like volunteer oh, nice. play, um, but they were able to move. It, so. Turn this hand, let him look like that, okay. as relaxed as possible. Occasionally, my hand will squeeze it real okay. hard and relax. She's going to be all over the place. Should I let you know if I feel anything? No, you don't. I'll, I'll see you. I'm basically going to feel the movement of your thumb. So just make sure that thumb is nice and relaxed. Okay. I just moved it myself. You see. You'll hear yeah. it in time. Ooh. 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 All right. Very good. You're in the right spot. <laughs> Probably too strong, so I'm going to drop it down to like six. No, I didn't. It didn't. It didn't feel. Yeah. I, what we like to do is get the get the dosage. Yeah. With the the, the lowest dosage, we can still see a response to. Okay. Because we're going to take this number and multiply it by 120. Okay. And that's going to be like the treatment. It's like fascinating technology. It is. You know, one of the things with mental health is that we don't have. There's, there's so much of a guessing game so much of the time. I'm excited. I'm hopeful that this will. Squeeze real quick and then just relax as possible. Sounds like an MRI room. It's exactly the same technology, so. Yeah. Squeeze one more time. Okay. Yeah, Sorry. You no, you're okay. good. You can keep your elbow there. Just okay. Yeah, there you go. All right. 
I wasn't particularly relaxed. I think I was holding my thumb up. I mean, if that's the case and it didn't move that much, then you might even be okay going lower. lower. Are these numbers really like a range, different range? For oh yeah, everybody's different. It has nothing to do with it. It says nothing about a person or anything like that. The only time, sometimes the, the actually the issue is hands. Like if I have a patient who has arthritis or something like that, it tends to be harder to get a response. And it says nothing about the brain. It's more so just interesting. It's kind of hard to relax. <laughs> I think 60 minutes. Just start getting there. Yeah. I'm going to do a couple more. Can you squeeze? Relax. Okay. I'll just keep that original one then. Let's do a 60 minutes. Wow. So now I just need to plot the spot. Okay. Oh, wow. Are you trying to match those up to green? Yeah. There we go. All right. Wow. Fascinating. So, is this a good time to come in every day? Um, she put me in for 8.30. Oh, okay. Which is so good. For today, mapping was just 11. Yeah. 8.30. Okay. Yeah. Worked out. I'm glad this all worked out. Yeah, I me too. I can't believe. I know. Oh, she's approved. I'm like, I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> that was crazy. And then there was even like meeting yeah, too. To be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She literally emailed me like at 10.15. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's like every day. Well, so not it's every day. Now we that's okay. right. Yeah. So every day, it's a total of thirty-six treatments, and then typically just, I mean, uh, given like holidays and stuff like that, you'll go through the first thirty within the first six weeks, okay. and then the last six, yeah, it'll be a taper. So it'll be like Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The next week is Tuesday, Thursday, and then one day the next fall. Okay. It doesn't have to be that way, but that's kind of just how we okay. start. Plans yeah, for it. Do that and then, do people ever do like follow up treatments years later? Yeah, yeah. So, some, I mean, it, it's very, there's no rules. It kind of depends on the person. Um, you know, given your situation of just like how many meds you've tried and how things just didn't quite work out, if you get to a point where the depression comes back, and you do want to come in for a treatment, we play it by ear. Usually, for insurance to cover it, it'd have to be at least six months later. Okay. And we don't have to go through all the hoops again, but we might have to show them yeah. that their depression is back and it's bad. Okay. Um, and if you want to do like out of pocket, just like maintenance, sometimes people have like one treatment a month or oh. it just kind of depends. There's, like I said, there's no rule. Really like the main structure of it is this initial course yeah. of treatment. Going forward, I mean, and then I've had patients who never come back. Really? They do well. Really? So it, yeah. You mean patients who have tried like every medication? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it really can go a lot of different ways. Uh, there are plenty of people who will run into stressors later uh -huh. in life and then they need to revisit TMS just because that stressor kicked off that episode of depression. Okay. Uh, rather than going you know, through the whole medication thing again. Yeah. It's worth just yeah. going to know what works. I remember we had talked at one point about adding Abilify and one of my friends actually just did that. Mm -hmm. She was also taking Prozac. Apparently works really well for her. Yeah, so that's usually one of the last meds. It's just the side effect. I think. Had you never tried it? I thought. Um, not a build of vibes. No, I tried Remeron. That. Yeah, that. Right, that's right. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like at the spa. Oh, yeah. Don't worry, that's <laughs> Thanks for letting me do this. Yeah, no problem. See, because I feel like I never considered TMS because I was so like scared and yeah. just didn't know anything about it. And then it's actually not so scary. So yeah, I hope it is. It's definitely not commonly talked about. Yeah, it is, it is relatively newer. 
How long has it been around? 20 years or so? Wow. Uh, I don't know, actually. Technology was in the 80s, and it was first consumer available in 2008. And then as new companies have made new machines, it's become even more accessible. Wow. Yeah, my um, geneticist that I saw for the Euler Stanlos, the hypermobility syndrome, he actually started out as a psychiatrist. And really? yeah, I asked him about this last week. He was like, oh my God, it's it's great. Do it. Who is it? Um, Ahmed Mayer. Okay, okay. He's KU. Yeah. Does that sound familiar? No, no, but there's a there's a Dr. Butler at KU. Oh, yeah. Do you know him? He's, um, he did psych and genetics. Yeah, and... so Ahmed is like his... Kind of like taking over. Yeah, because he's retiring. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I just heard about that. Yeah, had another patient, kind of exact story too. And she came a few weeks ago and told me he was retiring. I'm like, no. Yeah, but this other guy. I mean, I really he's like. Good. Yeah, good. He's amazing. Really nice. And cares a lot. Which is good. Good bedside manner. Good. Because you know sometimes those research scientists don't have. I know. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes you have to look past them. Though. Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> you can put your mask down at this point just so we can your face. Yeah. I don't want to get in the way of the camera. Feel okay so far. Feels okay, yeah. I don't see any twitching or anything, so. So we'll go ahead and give it a try with like the longer term tapping here and what you'll want to look for is any kind of pain or pressure behind your eye. Okay. If you feel that, let me know. Okay. Here we go. I feel a little pressure behind my eye. Yeah. Like not bad. Like it's very taller. Okay. Like right, it was like right here. Okay. I feel more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more. Here. I mean, is, is that bad to feel it? Or? It just means we're kind of stimulating some of those nerves and muscles that are kind of on there, but the spot's about the size of the walnut, so we've got a good amount of work. We can hit it at a different angle and try and get it somewhere else. Better? Better. Not as much pain. I mean, I, sh I should feel pressure, I'm guessing. Right? A little bit. Just yeah. kind of tap. The other kind of thing we could do is dial it down a little bit and work our way up to. I mean, I'm able to tolerate it. If that's, is that the issue? Is that not? The thing is, you're going to be sitting here with this going like that for a good 15 minutes, and I don't want you to have a headache after. Either, so we don't have to start aggressive. <laughs> I'm like, give me the big ass. Go, do it. Okay, this next one be a little less. Yeah, less. Doesn't oh, hurt. Okay. Just okay. like someone's tapping on my head. Okay. Tap dancing. Exactly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I need to not do that this whole time. Okay. Here. It's fine. Don't worry okay. about it. Good job. You fixed it. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be great. That's good for the camera. People like distractions. I mean, I'll probably edit a lot. So during treatment, you can watch Netflix if you want. You can play on your phone if you want. Just don't bring your phone up to your ear. Um, other than that, it's about 20 minutes long. Okay. I'm going to sit right behind you so if you need anything, just raise your hand and you want to Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm glad that we got you in. I, I didn't know. know if you, you can always send me a message or call if you need anything in okay. the meantime. But since this is going to be daily, it takes a few weeks for you to notice really like a big change. Okay. Um, just like medication, you know, we're still stimulating growth and healing. It's okay. the mechanism is just a little different, but ultimately the same goal. So. And they gave me a little card with two telehealth dates on it. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Cool. Perfect. All right. Thank also, you. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. See you later. Here's a close-up view of my nose. Just taking a 
a selfie, don't mind me. Are we done? Yeah. Oh, sweet. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. I'm going to take off this part and you peel off the sticky part. I mean, I can't leave it on my <laughs> Oh, you can. You're really <laughs> Make things easier, we can just come back and oh. stick in the same spot. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, you know, I'm allergic to, uh, not allergic, but very sad. I wonder if after a few days of repeating that, um, I bet my skin will. What start is, to, what is just it? the glue, the okay. sticky. Um, if needed, we can get, but there's a lot of cloth caps, and maybe just have you put one of those on the cloth. You want to do that just to be safe? Let's wait and see if the skin. Yeah. Sounds good. Before I trouble you. Thank you. Not much for this job. Oops. Do you have a business card to give you? Can I get it for Yeah. Oh. I have, oh, not one of mine. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh. Uh, he gave you with the dates on it. Yeah. Okay. So this is just for my telehealth follow ups, right? Yeah. And then on the other side, that number right there is our direct line. So okay. if you need anything, you can just call us from now on. Okay. You need to be like, okay. And then I come back tomorrow at 8.30, right? Yep. Yeah, cool. gotcha. Will you guys be here too? We will every day. Wow. So exciting. <laughs> hey, well, I just did it. My first TMS treatment and I'm alive to tell the story. It wasn't bad at all. Nothing hurt. The thumb twitching thing was kind of cool. I was worried. I remember talking to them about that saying, I'm a violinist. I don't really want anything to twitch. Um, but it was just a reflex. Uh, I feel fine. Totally fine. Like, super, like nothing happened. So we should talk more about this in a video where I explain more about it, not just from inside my car. Um, I'm super excited. They let me film. That was cool. So if you want to follow along in my journey and see how every day goes, subscribe to this channel because I am going to take you along with me and just advocate for any treatment I can that helps people who suffer with depression. Thanks for tuning in. See you soon. Bye. Okay, so that was the very first video. <laughs> and then the second one is coming up next where I almost fall asleep in the chair, which is a good thing. It's like non-invasive and it doesn't hurt. Here we go.